What is the vegan good life? For me, it means being able to relax, enjoy my day, but I also want something delicious and homemade. So what do I have to do to do that? How can I spend time in my kitchen doing those DIY projects that will actually save me time in the future? Well, one of the things I've always relied on is a really great broth. Whether I'm making a soup or a sauce or a pasta, I want a really good stock to start out with. But that can take hours to make. And so we often too much rely on these little things or something that comes in a jar. So can I improve on this? I think I can. Today I'm going to show you how to make Brilliant Bouillon, which is your own homemade bouillon paste that you can add to so many things to enhance your life, whether it's a homemade soup that you're making or a little bit stirred into a stir fry or fried rice or a salad dressing, something to add that umami bomb that you're looking for to make your life the vegan good life. So let's get started. For the Brilliant Bouillon, we are going to rely on dried mushrooms. So these are porcini mushrooms. I'm going to be using dried shiitake mushrooms in the second Brilliant Bouillon. But for this basic bouillon, we want to use porcini mushrooms. Now, I know this they sound so expensive and exotic, but you can actually buy them in bulk on Amazon for very, very little or other online uh, sites. So I recommend that you go to that. Now, what we're going to do with the porcinis is turn this into porcini powder. And we do that by uh, pulverizing these in the blender. So we're going to make porcini powder and you can keep that porcini powder. We don't need it all for the Brilliant Bouillon. You can keep it in your cupboard and then you can just sort of like sprinkle it over, let's say your fettuccine Alfredo and it's going to level, it's going to level that up and just give it that sort of, you know, gourmet feel and look. So we're going to turn this into powder. It just takes a minute. Okay, that was about 20 seconds. Now, you want to wait until you remove the lid or you will have a cloud of porcini dust all over the air. Just pat this down. Now, the thing about dried mushrooms, why are we using dried mushrooms? There's some magic that happens when mushrooms are dried out because the water evaporates, concentrating the flavor. And that flavor does not dissipate even when you re-soak the mushrooms. It's amazing. Okay, so you'll find that dried porcinis have so much more of that porcini oomph than fresh porcinis. Same thing with shiitake mushrooms. You want that concentrated shiitake flavor? It's dried shiitake all the way. We're going to use the dried shiitake in the next broth. All right, so there's my porcini, porcini dust, porcini powder. We're going to use a quarter cup of that. And the rest of this can just go in a jar to be used for the next time you make this or for another dish. We're going to be just stirring all of this in this jar in which you're going to store the Brilliant Bouillon. But I have to do one more thing because I made a mistake. We're going to be adding ground celery seed to this to add a little bit of that oomph as well. But I got whole celery seeds. So I'm going to have to grind it in my blender um, and I'm going to put all of the dry ingredients in here just because I need the extra quantity. So I added back the porcini powder. I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic powder. I have a tablespoon of onion powder as well. And I have two teaspoons of sea salt. And I'm just going to grind all of this together so I can grind up the, uh, the celery seeds. But if you buy ground celery seeds like you're supposed to, you won't have to do this. Okay, I hope I managed to grind up the celery seed there. And there is, uh, there are fumes of uh, porcini and other dust <laughs> in the air. Oh, boy, boy that is uh, very, very fragrant. And oh, it's, it's like a fine powder now. It might even make this better. Okay, I'm going to be adding a quarter cup of just some plain oil. You can use, I'm using avocado oil, I believe. But you can use olive oil. You know, that might even enhance it for a certain type of thing. I'm going to add soy sauce. And that is two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to add a quarter cup of white miso. Now, 
If you haven't used miso before, you may be wondering, well, that's not white. In Japan, there's two kinds of miso. There's white miso, and then there's red miso. Now, there are other varieties, but those are the two major divisions. And white miso looks like this, and red miso is very, very dark looking. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get a spoon and stir that. Now, you can do this all in the blender if you like, uh, but I find cleaning the blender to be kind of, it's a lot easier to clean the blender if you just have uh, powder in it. So. I'm doing this by hand. Give that a good stir. And these are all umami rich foods. The soy sauce, the miso, the nutritionally, and the porcinis. All of this goes into making a, an umami bomb filled. Can you say umami bomb filled or is it just an umami bomb? <laughs> I'm adding the nutritional yeast now, and I'm just going to add the rest of the ingredients right out of my blender. Remember, once again, you do not have to pulverize these if you use ground celery seeds. So I've got my porcini powder in here, the onion powder, garlic powder, ground celery, all of that is going in here, and I'm just mixing it up. And there, now we have our brilliant bouillon. All we have to do to use this is add a cup of broth to about a teaspoon of this to get a rich, fragrant, delicious, hearty broth. You can also stir this into all sorts of delicious dishes. Okay, we're gonna make one more variety. We're gonna make a chickenless flavor. That sounds funny, but there's no chickens in it, so I guess it's chickenless. All right, so we're gonna do this one more time it's just as fast. For the next Brilliant Bouillon, we're gonna use shiitake mushrooms instead of porcini. So I got a big container here like that. I think that was like $15 or something like that. So I put the shiitake in here. We're gonna grind them up just as we did before. When you stop hearing that banging around, that's when you know that it's been fully pulverized and ground. All right, we'll wait a few seconds for the dust to settle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is some pretty dust in the air. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here. And I need a quarter cup of this. Porcini dust. Okay, once again, I'm gonna add the celery seeds because I gotta grind that up. And I kinda like how pulverized and powdery everything was. So I'm gonna add everything else. Now for the chickenless chicken stock, I just added a tablespoon of poultry seasoning. So don't forget that. Once again, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of sea salt, uh, a tablespoon of the onion powder, and then I'm gonna increase the Nutritional yeast from a quarter cup to a quarter cup and two tablespoons. In other words, six tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And we're going to pulverize that again into a nice powder. It's snowing in here and it actually smells good. All right, so I'm going to make it easy for myself because it is the good life. And this is already dirty and I gotta wash it. So I'm gonna add the quarter cup of oil directly to the blender. I'm gonna add my soy sauce to the blender. And I'm gonna add the miso to the blender. Same quantities as before. And now I'm gonna just combine it all for my chicken lens chicken stock. There we go. Now how easy was that? Let's heat up some water, make some broth, and give them a taste. Alrighty, we're ready to make some broth. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the first Brilliant Bouillon. I'm gonna add my hot water to this. And we'll just give it a stir. So handy, the umami from the miso, the porcini mushrooms, the soy sauce, the nutritional yeast. Oh boy. I got my little sake cups ready to go. Give it a taste, see whether or not 
I added enough water, not enough water. Mm. That is some pretty tasty stuff. I'm going to get the little last bit off of there. Make sure it's all 100% dissolved. Let me pour these in here and uh, my friend Amanda is just dropped over, so drop by, is that the expression? So we're gonna, hey Amanda, come on over. Hey, I'm I, dropping over. Yeah, <laughs> uh, try my brilliant bouillon. Tell Ooh. me what you think. Cheers. Cheers mm. to the good life. Mm. Mm. So good. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's I mean, so it was good. instant. It rich. came together. Rich, mm. yeah. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. I can imagine all sorts of things that you could cook in this. I mean, just you throw in some vegetables in here, you'd have mm. an instant veggie soup or with a little bit of barley, maybe minestrone, just for it. stir in some tomato paste and instant mm. minestrone. Endless opportunities. That's exactly <laughs> right. So I made the chicken one. So this one's a little different, slightly different color, slightly mm. different flavor. So we'll try that one also. So get that in there. I'm going to add... A little bit of water, just to, just to make it easier to dissolve. A little bit of water first. So this is made um, with shiitake powder, mm. and this one is made with porcini powder. But you don't, the porcini powder is not overwhelming in flavor, would you say? Mm -mm, not at all. No. no, you really added a nice that kind of umami. Yeah. So if you're, you know, making something that requires chicken stock, you can use this. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. right. So give this a try. I think it's a little lighter, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is really rich, you know. So we'll give this one a try and see how you like that. Very Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yes. Yes. Totally getting the poultry vibe. Yes. yes. Yeah. There's a poultry vibe. Isn't mm -hmm. that weird? Yeah. I mean, not that we want to eat poultry. We certainly don't. No. But, but the, the vibe. Yeah, the vibe. Yeah. 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 Please flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So good. Yes. I'll have to show you how to make these. <laughs> I would love to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I came just at the right time. You certainly did. Mmm. Mm. Well, cheers to the good life, everybody. The vegan good life.